Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to look at the Convoy L21B with SBT90.2 LED. So I'm super excited for this light. Uh, I just got it today, so I haven't had a, a chance to even take it out as it's it's been a hundred it's been over 110 degrees here in Arizona. It is ridiculously hot. And as I'm sitting inside at my little makeshift desk, uh, normally I'm in the garage at my big desk, but I'm inside, unfortunately, and I'm very cramped and I'm sweating right now. And I have the AC down, um, but we're going to be taking this out soon and I'm going to sweat my ass off, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this. All right, so the L21B is almost a carryable light. So I actually have a holster that I can, I can plop this in and actually carry around all day. So it can be used as an EDC. It's right there in between EDC and like, you know, bigger thrower that needs to be in a bag, but um, it's light and it's somewhat compact. The head is 60 millimeters. Let's see how long it is. So this one is 170.5 millimeters. The body diameter, 26.1 millimeters. It does have one 21700 battery. And I'm running all the cell P42As. Uh, this is the, the, the battery I use in most of my bigger, more powerful lights. Has a big gold plated spring. Nice and thick. It's a thicky, guys. Um, silicone grease, O ring. Nice threads. And this has, this has really smooth machining. Like compared to the L8, gosh, as, as this is a newer light, you know, that spring is still extremely stiff. So it's a little bit tougher for me to get the, the tail cap back on. All right, so let's see what's going on on this end. And okay, this is driven by an 18 amp FET. So you can see that in there, another large gold plated spring and an o-ring right here you can see the grease so i don't need to worry about this or if i you know don't need to take it out in the rain and this light would actually be better for in the rain than this as this is 5700 kelvins whereas this one is about 6500 and i know they're coming out with a 3000 kelvin SV sft40 which i'm really excited about and it's a high cri sft40 so that's going to be super interesting all right so really nice smooth machining no imperfections whatsoever nice tail switch nice and firm um, this this is the 12 group, so uh, you know the normal convoy configuration. I always use sub option uh, two because I don't need strobe or anything else. I just need different levels of light. And right now it's it's in the basic configuration, so it has strobe, bike flasher mode. this is some weird SOS all right this is 1% you can see the hole in the middle but that only happens up close it's a very clean nice beam comparable to the SFT 40 but much larger and more intense all right so I n believe it or not it doesn't throw as far as the SFT 40 so this has a claimed throw of 1,148 meters, but the candela is 330,000. This guy can throw over 1,200 meters and the candela is less than 300,000. But yeah, 
in my opinion, this is this is one of the most perfect lights ever built. Granted, I wish there was a USB-C port, but this was thirty dollars, <laughs> and it's a crazy thrower. Seriously, I was I was uh, I was hitting planes from a quarter mile away. All right, so Convoy really like made this light special. You know, there's the L21A, which is much more beefy and has better heat dissipation. This is really made more for um, an easy carry. You don't have too much cooling. There's not a lot of mass, so the heat dissipation is not going to be nearly as good as something like the L8. <laughs> but still, I'm really excited to take this out. <laughs> All right, guys, so... Uh, I'm just gonna make this a short review is there's there's really not a lot to go over um, but let's get to what really matters let's get to those beam shots all right we'll be back <music> So I'm out here with the L21B with an SBT 90.2 and it's already hot so it's not going to hold turbo nearly as long as it would if it was cool as it's 105 degrees out here and I've been messing around with it for quite a while on high. So I have it on subgroup 2 right now so that just means it has 1% or 0.1% 1% yada 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 yada. This is turbo. But all my all my convoy lights I put on um, subgroup two. And if you don't know how to configure a convoy light, just let me know. And I can I can make a short on it. As it it's really simple. It really is. Once you get the hang of it. This is the lowest setting right here, and I mean, there's a little background light, so, but I mean, honestly, I think this is like enough light if you're just like walking around. Right here is more than enough light. I think this is maybe 5% of the 18 amps. Maybe 10 or 20%, 25 maybe. 50 and then turbo it's it's for so bright up close I've been messing around with this and the 3y21d all day or all night and man they are some intense lights All right, so I don't want to keep it on turbo for too long because I want to compare this to um, the L21B with this FT40 and the L8 and the 3x21D. So let's get to that right now. Goodness gracious. All right, so this is an SFT40 and an L21B. This is an SBT90 and an L21B. So the SFT40 is much cooler, and the hotspot is is much, well, not much smaller. Oh yeah, it's actually pretty 
pretty significantly smaller. The SPT90 is a much larger LED, so the hotspot is usually a little bit larger. You know, if you put it in the same light, same model. But the SFT40 is no joke, and this is just a great LED. The SPT90 is, you know, the mother of all LEDs in my opinion right now. Gosh dang. The SFT40 actually does throw further, so you can see right there how much further it throws. It's crazy how you can actually see how far the beam goes with this dust. So, not much further, but further. But with this guy, you get, with the SBT90, you get a lot more lumens, but you're also going to get more heat. Man, both these lights are just amazing lights. Uh, but I do carry the L21B sometimes with the SFT40, as it doesn't like kill batteries the way an SBT90.2 does. Whew, these are getting hot. All right, so next, we're gonna bust out the L8. And hopefully, I haven't pushed this too far. Let's see, let's look at the hot spots. You know, more intense on the L8 with the bigger reflector. I mean, the reflector's 20 millimeters bigger on an L8. Check the distance. Pretty close, to be honest. Damn, this thing is like somewhat comparable to an L8. The L8 is brighter, has a bigger battery. But this L21B with an SFT40 is definitely a competitor. All right, and last but not least, we have the Mac Daddy, the 3x21D. Right. Check the hotspots. Much more intense on the Mac Daddy. As the Mac Daddy, the 3x21D, has a 90 millimeter head. Very good spill on both of them, but you can see how much further the 3x21D throws. And the beam is much more intense. Well, and you understand that, as that's what it takes to get that light all the way out there. All right, L21B, Mac Daddy. Either one is like a super good choice, in my opinion. You can't go wrong, you really can't. Both these lights are awesome. I'm so glad that I got the L21B with the SBT90.2. Granted, it's not gonna take the place of my SFT40 uh, L21B, but it's just fun to have. Okay, there we go. L21B is starting to step down. Mac Daddy's still going strong. But yeah, both lights, great choices. Hey guys, thank you so much for, for sticking with me this far. I know this video is a little crazy, but I just wanted to get these beam shots out there so you guys can see, I mean, just how impressive these lights are. And under a hundred bucks, this one's $50, this one's, I mean, once all is said and done, you're gonna spend about a hundred bucks on this one with batteries. And this one, you'll, you know, you could still be under 60 bucks with one 21700. Oh yeah, they're both stepping down now. The Mac Daddy is too. Luckily I have this handle and I am wearing a glove. <laughs> I've learned my lesson after, after holding these, these big powerful lights for so long i tell you what though uh, 
this 3x21D hasn't gotten nearly as hot as my K75 with seven uh, SFN43s. That sucker gets hot as hell. Like even the handle gets crazy hot. L21B with SFT40, or I'm sorry, with SBT90.2. Great searchlight. And you can EDC it. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, guys. So what did you think? Please leave me a comment and let me know which one is your favorite. SFT40 or the SBT90.2? And I'm not choosing any favorites. I just love them both. All right, so if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It helps me tremendously. Um, the rest of you guys, you stay bright, stay classy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.